Hey guys, I went to Costco and got all of the goods. Good morning everyone, it's Janet. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss more videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. I went to Costco today. I got a pretty big Costco haul. I spent, I think it was over $200, $220 or something. So I usually try to go once a month, stock up on everything so that I don't have to go until like the end of the next month. So today I'll show you everything that I got, what I put in my cart, and I'm going to list the prices actually of everything as well too, and I'll just label it down um, in the picture. There's even some keto items that I got as well too, which you should always stock up on some keto items that you'll be using at Costco for a better price. So if that's what you're here for, then keep on watching. Okay, so there's a few items that aren't here because I started putting stuff away already, but I will go through it. So I we always get our coffee there. They have like a bigger size um, since we, me and my husband drink like maybe a cup or two a day and that's it. But we always just get the Folgers. Tastes really good and always a good price. Usually lasts us the month. Then they have a really good price on whipping cream. So this is kind of like a staple. Uh, for keto. I use it in my coffee every day and I also make my own whipping cream and I use it for some recipes as well too. So always stock up there. They're always a really good price. Alright and then I usually get, my family likes bagels so I usually get the three pack of the everything bagel. It seems to be like but all three people in my, in my house that still have carbs they like so I got a three pack of that which is a good price. I This one is opened and these two I will freeze. And another keto item. So these are really really good. So I obviously these are kept in the freezer so they're good and they'll last the whole month. So I'll show you the nutritional information as well too. So for this one it's 150 calories, 14 fat, zero carbs, and eight protein. So it makes it like a good side with a breakfast. And I also too, I'll make um, those breakfast sandwiches with the English muffins for my family as well too. They love that. Bought a big pack of the Activia like you've seen in the video. I just took it all apart and I thought I would just show you, but it's a mixed kind. So you get the blueberry, strawberry, and vanilla and raspberry. And so I stock up on that. And I think a few things that I have here, the next few items is keto. So I stock up on cheese. Um, we go through quite a bit of cheese, especially myself too. I use it in a lot of recipes, like for my pizza recipe or like cheese tacos that I make. So what I do is I buy this big, big one and then I split it up and I shred it right away. So it probably goes into like five sections, maybe four. But this lasts us the whole month, so it's a pretty good price. And like I said, we go through it a lot. 
And I bought these before. This is also keto as well, too. These are the egg wraps with the cauliflower, and they don't taste like cauliflower at all. They're really, really good. I use them for, like, sandwiches for wraps. So these are the macros. 30 calories, 1.5 fat in one wrap, zero carbs, and three po protein in one wrap. So I like to make, I usually make, like, um, I'll use a few of these, like, two per wrap and I'll just put like sandwich meat and mayo and cheese and then I fry it for a little bit and it's so good. All right, and this is hard to tell. I had it in the freezer already too, but it's the frying chickens. I get a three pack and then I just freeze them individually and this lasts us a month. So I do, I don't buy beef because we are hunters. So we eat uh, venison. So it's either elk or deer. And so that's the majority that we have. We have steaks, burger, and roast. So I don't buy beef. I just buy chicken. My family's not really big on pork. So probably chicken is the only other thing that I buy. Like the chicken, frying chickens, and the chicken breasts. And this is from Costco as well. This is one of my favorite items, actually, that they have there. It's keto. And it's chicken salad. And I just got one that was $13.25. And, yeah, it's, like, all clean ingredients. And I think somebody figured it out on um, Instagram. I think it's, like, two or three, like, per section if you cut it into fours. So sometimes, like, I'll just have this. I won't have it with any bread. So if I have one section, that's three grams of carbs. And it's actually a lot. Like, definitely will fill you up. And it's so good. I can't make it as good as Costco does. I don't know what they do. They probably use their rotisserie chicken in it. But it's so good. And another thing that I get there all the time is their um, cream cheese. So they have a three-pack there. And I'm always using cream, cream cheese for recipes and everything. So definitely a good thing. And those are the macros there. Low in carbs. Like I said, I can add it even to like, um, I've done it with the ground beef and stuff like that as well to just make it a little bit creamier. And cream cheese just makes everything taste so good. All right, and then the other thing too, keto, which I buy um, at Costco, is the four pack of bacon. It's really, really good bacon. And as you can see, the macros on the back are pretty decent. Like it's uh, one carb per slice. But still, I usually, if I do have bacon, I usually only have a couple of slices with my breakfast or anything like that. So that's another good keto find that I stock up on. So there was a couple things that I didn't film. I already had taken it downstairs to the laundry room, but it was just laundry detergent. I always stock up on laundry detergent there as a good price. I usually get the packs because my kids tend to over dump, like if I buy powder or liquid. So the pouches are always really good, good price last a long time as well too you're not using too much or too little in your wash it's always the same so i do stock up on that and that's the only thing that i didn't record yeah that's it thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed it so make sure that you like and subscribe stay tuned for more videos like this one and then you can see my monthly hauls that i do at costco